G'day. Welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make prawn toast. This is so simple and quick and super yummy. So let's go. Alrighty, for this what you're going to need is either a food processor or a really good blender. Now I've got a fantastic blender. This was given to me by Blendec. Best blender I've ever had and I've had quite a few. So what you want to do is put in 250 grams of prawns. So you want to make sure that they're peeled, there's no head, no tail on them and the rows have been taken out. You can already buy them like that. Then add one green onion. You can use brown if you want. Now cut it up into smallish pieces. Now get some ginger, about a, a centimetre long piece, and just cut it up into small little pieces. Add that. Then add egg white from one small egg. If you've got a really big egg, just use about half of it. Then put in half a teaspoon of corn flour, half a teaspoon of soy sauce. You can add um, a whole teaspoon if you wish. Add about anywhere from one eighth to one quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. Now we want to process this until it's smooth. So you put your lid on and with this particular item, if you don't have a food presser and you've got a, an awesome thing like this blend deck, just pulse. Get a plate and get some bread. White bread is usually good for this. Just cut it up into some triangles. As much bread as you would use with the paste. Get the paste and spread it. So once you've, once you've got your prawn mixture paste on the bread, get some bread crumbs, put it in a bowl and dip it in like that. Then just put it on a separate plate for now and just do that with all the pieces. Yum. Now get a frying pan and put some oil in it about an inch deep. Now if you've got a deep fryer, use that. And just heat this up until it's ready to use. You can always stick in a little bit of bread if it starts to bubble and you know it's ready. Now the oil is ready, put this in with the sesame seeds down for about one minute. Now you can turn them over and do the plain side for about 20 seconds. And once that's done, just take them and put them on a plate and let them dry. Or put them on a wire rack so you can get the oil to drip off and that would be even better. Well, I hope you like these. So good, so good. I'll see you next time for my next meal. 